nozzle. This particular nozzle actually has this, what they call a stop feature. If you can see the arrow with the stop, whenever you turn it all the way, to hold on to the black housing, turn the bottom part all the way to the arrow to the left, it will actually turn the black housing, it'll, turn, it'll make it stop. So it doesn't rattle, so the, the ceramic piece inside will not spin. So it'll be just like a fixed zero degree nozzle, it'll just spray in one direction. A lot of people don't understand that with these particular nozzles and they actually they actually will get tightened up in this position and they think they don't work. The best thing to do, just unscrew it. Hold on to the base, unscrew it, so it rattles. If it rattles, then it should spin for you. At that point in time, it should be working fine. A lot of times you may have to rebuild these nozzles, but the first thing you want to do is on this particular one, we have a filter on the back, high pressure filter that help extends the life of the nozzle. So we're gonna open up this filter and, and we're gonna see if it needs to be cleaned. Okay. Now this is an O-ring seal, so it doesn't have to be super tight. Here's our, that's the housing. And then that's the filter. So you can see there's a little bit of trash on there. So this is stainless steel screen, so you just gotta clean it off. You can blow it down with some air if you have some compressed air. If it's more, if it's something that's more stuck on, you have to take this little C-clip off, slide that housing off, slide the filter off, clean it, put it back on, put the little C-clamp back on there. So now we can put it, put our filter back together. And again, whenever you tighten any of this up, because whenever you move it this direction, it's going to tighten this so it doesn't spin. You always want to put a wrench on to tighten up to tighten up your fittings. Okay. All right. Now, now if you want to rebuild this this Rotomax, you would take out this screw right here. Sometimes they can get kind of difficult. that way you can pull the housing off and now this is the Rotomax without the housing and it can be separated into two different parts okay so if we take that by taking that screw out we now allows us to pull the whole bottom out and there's the bottom of the Rotomax you have the holes the directional holes like we had in the other nozzle and then we have the rotor assembly and in the very front of the housing we have our ceramic cone all right so we get our wrenches on here get it set up there we go there it comes loose one screw has an o-ring seal and that one comes out and that's where your ceramic cone piece is so that's our pieces that's our pieces inside for the Rotomax nozzle. Now your kit will have the O-rings and ceramic pieces in the kit. So we'll dump this out here. Okay. So we'll have our kit. Okay, so this little uh, cone piece you can comes out it puts off to the side now you can barely see it but this little bitty o-ring that's right here is down inside inside the in the groove area um, get my pick so sometimes these actually don't come out very well unless you take out the actual orifice and that's the orifice right there, and that comes out with an Allen wrench. All right, as we were saying, the O-ring is all the way down inside. That little itty bitty O-ring here is down inside this rotor assembly. In order to get to it, you actually have to take the orifice out, the Allen wrench, pop that out, and then you have to hook that little O-ring. 
and get it out, which is kind of difficult when it's this small, but there it is. So we'll get rid of that. We can get the new O-ring, get it down inside there, and get in, and again, getting it, a new one in is just as difficult as getting the old one out because it's in such a confined area. There we go. All right, now that it's in, you wanna make sure it's seated all the way around. We need to put our, our orifice back in, get it started, get our little Allen wrench, tighten it down. Doesn't have to be super tight, just snugged up, okay? Then we can put our cone on the top, which sits inside by the O-ring. Now we do have the diffuser in the bottom and again, these little plastic pieces sometimes have more difficulty getting out, but they do want you to replace them. So we'll try to get this one out. There we go. Pop that out, put it in our used parts pile. Here's the new one. Get it lined up. And... push it in. Sometimes you have to use the table, push it in. Okay, that part's done. Okay, now we have the outer O-ring that can be taken off. That would be this bigger O-ring. You can see there's a groove in the base that it goes around, so we just put it on. Roll it down inside there, hits the groove, good. And we have an O-ring and a backup ring on this particular piece. So we wanna pull the O-ring off, pull the backup ring off. Okay, just the opposite way we took it off, so the backup ring goes on first, then the O-ring. And that piece is done. Okay, now this one gets a little bit more difficult. Here's another o ring on the outside of the forcing cone head. So we'll take that off, get rid of that, get this o ring on, make sure it seats. And now we'll have to push the cone down from the top down so we can get it out of. The, the top and there's a little o-ring this o-ring right here is in the bottom down here so we need to do the same thing we did in the nozzle get it out and drop the new one in again sometimes they get a little bit more difficult because they're in confined spaces so just take your time make sure it gets seated properly Okay, there we go. I'll seat it in there. Now this cone needs to go with the beveled edge up. So as you set it inside there, kind of drop it down. And you want to make it get in place so it drops all the way down into the O-ring. Just like that. And then sometimes what I'll do is I'll just take the rotor head and push it down to seat the seat the ceramic headpiece into the O-ring. Alright, now we can put it back together. Put our portion cone on. Snug it up. It's got an O-ring seal around, drop our rotor assembly in, put on our base. 
Now sometimes you want to be careful because you don't want to smash that o-ring and the and the backup ring when you're putting this back together. So you just want to kind of make sure it gets in there all the way. Sometimes it's easier said than done. There we go. There we go. All right, now we don't want to get it too tight because again, we want it to rattle when it's working. We can put our nozzle housing back on. Because we got the O-ring on there, it's a little bit more difficult Push now. down, there we go. Make sure you always have your little hole lined up with the screw hole so we can put that Phillips screw. That's the retaining screw for the cover. Plus it's the retaining screw for the bottom piece so you can't unscrew it too far. Tighten it up. Make sure it's loose, rattles, there you go, rebuilt.